Hello, this is Super B Shirley with BBS Bees, and today's bottling day, so I extracted yesterday. Got these bottles prepped, I've got more behind me. Here's what I've figured out. I put this bucket below my honey gate last night in case we had a catastrophic failure of the spigot, it would flow into the bucket. So only a little bit came out in about the 24 hours that it was sitting here. I've got my measuring scale so I can tear out the jars. A couple of corning wares and a wooden box so I can adjust that height depending on if I'm doing pints or quarts. More caps over here. So we are just gonna get the show started. Exciting stuff! It's the first pint jar being dispensed. Be odd! Okay, so I'm setting the jar on there and I'm tearing it, opening up the honey gate and then getting it to the closest ounce and then to the bottom of the neck. I decided to place them on my table behind me. That way I can make a notation for um, the weight, the ounces. And then make the label accordingly and price accordingly. I mentioned later in the video that I probably would not be going back into the hives this year. However, this weekend the temperatures are favorable, close to the 70 degree mark and over. So I will be going back in and putting these wet frames in overnight. They'll get equal amounts, so hopefully I won't create a robbing frenzy. And then I'll also be able to fully winterize down to the about 10 frames that I am hoping to get down to. So be watching for those videos. It'll be a couple of weeks. There's always a lag time in my editing. And 36 jars later, I have this to show for my 45 minutes of effort. Look at that pure, golden, delicious honey. Destined to make a dunk in your teacup or holiday charcuterie board. Hello, this is Super Bee Shirley with BBS Bees. Today is Wednesday, October 12, 2022. 
I extracted this honey on Monday night and it is now Wednesday morning. Bottled it yesterday and today I just need to put my labels on with some ribbon. Of course, decorated in my paper crafting bee themed paper. So this is my honey harvest for 2022. I'm not doing cut comb this year unless the bees are really prolific and I go back in one more time, but I'm probably done for the season going in to do inspections since it is mid-October and the temperatures won't be getting above 60 degrees Fahrenheit most likely for the rest of this year. So this is totally 966 ounces, which if I can do the math right was 60.4 pounds. My frames are wet, so I didn't extract everything out. And of course, if I didn't uncap cells, uh, that cell was full. So I'm sure there's maybe at least a half a pound to a pound of honey uh, left in the frames that the bees will be able to take and consume or put it in their hives. But I just thought I would share my honey harvest. Look how pretty it is. So it looks different, but it just depends on where it is in the on the table. So if I pull this one forward, this one looks clear, just as clear. All right, it is 11.15 a.m. on October 12th. I've just finished tagging all my jars. So I decided on, I like the fact that I could use the curling ribbon and curl it rather than doing bows. But this is my 2022 crop of honey from my bees that live in rural Northwoods, Wisconsin. They had two linden trees to forage on, plum trees, evergreens, maples, all sorts of trees to gather their nectar and make this precious honey. All right, this is Super V Shirley with VBS Bees. Just waiting for pickups now. Glamour shots. And after all of the jars have been tagged, this honey is for sale, so contact me if you're interested. Otherwise, we'll buzz you later. Bye!